and welcome back to another daily music tip. I am Giovanni Perini and I hope you are having a great day. Today I would like to show you one of the best methods that I know for memorizing chordal structures. I realized after a while I was playing the vibe that I had certain voicing that I use all the time in certain keys but I was not able to use them through all the 12 keys. And I have to figure out a way for practicing them so that I could instantly recall them while playing. And if you think one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, okay, I have to use the ninth and then I have to use the 13 and one chorus is gone. Here is my method. You pick up one voicing that you want to learn and you have to do it in all keys. I know it is boring at, at the beginning it is difficult, but you have to do it. Try. The first 10 minutes is gonna be a whole mess, but then you will get it and uh, you will know what to do. Of course, the first thing you need to know is to learn all the scales. So all the 12 major scales, all the minor scales. I did a couple of videos where I talk about how to study scales, so please check them out. Or if you want, you can also book a video lesson with me. We can use Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, or whatever application you like. Back to the lesson, let's say I want to work on drop two voicings and the structure I want to learn and internalize in all the keys is a major seventh chord in drop two with the root and the fifth in my left hand and the seventh and the third in my right hand. The first thing I want to do is to transpose it chromatically up and down the keyboard. So I start slowly from C major and when I go up, I have to say loud the name of the chord that I'm playing because otherwise I get lost. Here is my C major, I go to D flat, I go to D, E flat, E, go to F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, and C again, and back. It's not that difficult, but you need to check the intervals. Once you know that you have a fifth in your left hand and a fourth in your right hand, everything is really easy. You have a perfect fifth in your left hand and a perfect fourth in your right hand and in between there's a major third, right? The second way is to practice the voicing through the circle of fifths. The problem is that we need to connect the chords. So instead of playing like this, I could do it. But the best solution is to not move the common tones. So I have C major to F major to B flat major to E flat major. Remember to say out loud the names A flat to D flat, to F sharp, to B. Here I don't have any E, so I go up here, to E, to A, to D, to G, back to the top of the exercise. I know it's difficult, but if you practice like this, then you will say to yourself, I managed to do it, and I am a hero today, right? And if you don't do it, then the problem will be there again and again. In the beginning, you will feel like, oh, I cannot do it, it's too difficult. But after 10 minutes, you will feel like, yeah, I am the hero of the vibraphone, I am the hero of the piano, and I got it. And if you don't do it today, tomorrow the problem will be still there. And the day after, it will be still like this, and you will feel kind of bad about it. So. Take your time, do it from today, from now. After you watch the video, go take your instrument and practice it. Pick one chord a day, a chord that you already know that you are familiar with, 
or a chord that you just found interesting. Maybe you transcribed a chord from a recording and you particularly like the sound. Try to work on the voicing in this way. So first, do it chromatically up and down the keyboard and the second, play it through the circle of fifths. Guys, I hope this lesson was helpful. It is the hard way, but it is the correct way, believe me, for learning voicings. If you like the lesson, put a thumb up. If you want to support the channel, you may want to buy some of my CDs or vinyls or my books. And there are the link here in the description. Of course, MP3s are also available. Remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And we see each other tomorrow for another great daily music tip. Thanks a lot and bye bye.